And a follow up tonight, Metro Police are ramping up their presence on I-24 across Davidson County following a terrifying shooting involving a mom and her two kids. They're looking for aggressive drivers and road rage, but as News 4's Courtney Allen reports, that mom says she doesn't believe road rage played any factor in her case and she wants to see more done. Metro Police says they started focusing more on I-24 this week after what recently happened to Ashley Evans and her two daughters. We survived this, right? But this affects everyone. Shot up seemingly at random on I-24. This could happen to one of your family members. News 4 first talked to Ashley Evans last week after an unknown driver opened fire while she was on I-24 with her 12 and 7 year old daughters in the car. It's a lot. Um, we really don't want to be on the road at night right now. At least five bullets struck the car. Evans says she still has a bullet lodged in her back. Her daughter, whose hand was shot, is now out of the hospital. Trying to resume life normally. Since sharing her story with News 4, Evans says she's received an outpouring of support. And now Metro Police says they're increasing patrols on I-24. Metro's preliminary response includes moving all four officers from their aggressive driving unit to monitor I-24 Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's disappointing because it's not enough. Evans points out her shooting happened on a Sunday night at 830. Shootings that are happening aren't even happening um, between the hours of 5 a.m. and 7 p.m. So it's almost pointless. Police emphasize they're planning for additional coverage, and this is just a preliminary response. While they work to develop a more established plan that they'll share more details about later this week. Of course, Evan's case is just one of several recent violent acts on I-24. Back in October, a man shot at a tractor trailer. In November, another shooting. And less than a week later, a Nashville man says he was shot at four times. I don't think it still quite hit me, actually, that I almost died last night. Evans says she hopes more is done. It just doesn't seem like there's enough concern. And that is... It's really heartbreaking, especially being a native here, and that hurts. Metro Police says they're still looking for tips in Evans' case. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers. Courtney Allen, News 4 Nashville. We were wondering what role Highway Patrol may play in this. Metro Police says DHP does have jurisdiction over the interstate, but says since Highway Patrol covers the whole state and are spread thin, Metro is trying to cover areas here.